Hi everybody, I'm Jen with opensource.com and this is our weekly top five, the best articles from the past week. At number five, how to choose a brand name for your open source project. Chris Grams, president of the branding firm Newkind, shares tips for the very important task of naming your open source project. His insight can help you avoid unnecessary expenses and dead ends. This article is part of our career series. At number four, five tips for growing your developer community on GitHub. Andrew Imbler, founder and CTO of Concrete5, an open source content management system, shares his thoughts on how you can reach a wider audience on GitHub to grow a community around your open source project. This article is also part of our career series. At number three, how to, how to add open source experience to your resume. Emily Dunham, a self-described open source geek of many trades, shares tips on how to add your open source contributions to your resume in order to stand out. This article is also part of our career series. You should check it out. And at number two, using Vagrant and Ansible to deploy virtual machines for web development. Betsy Gamrat begins by answering why we should use VMs for website development in the first place, then explains how to do so using Vagrant, Ansible, and VirtualBox. And finally, at number one, Open Project, an open source project management solution. Berth Lindenthal covers how to install Open Project and how to get your team up and running on it. That's it for the top five this week. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.